do you get financing as an Airbnb host? Well, that's exactly what we're talking about during today's training. I'm gonna teach you how to get financing to get an Airbnb business off the ground, and I'm gonna talk to you about how to get financing to maintain Airbnb properties. So during today's training, I'm gonna talk about specific ways you can get money with no money out of your pocket to actually be able to buy properties that you can put into your Airbnb pool. I'm also gonna talk about how to get the money you need to maintain those properties, so even if you have these big unexpected expenses, you're still covered. I'm gonna talk about how to get the most money at the best terms to fund your Airbnb business. And along the way, I'm gonna give you tips and tactics to help make sure that you can easily and quickly get the financing you need when you need it. We got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. So as an Airbnb host, there's two types of financing you really are gonna be interested in. The first is the money you need to actually buy properties to put into your pool of Airbnb properties that you're renting out. The second is the money you need to maintain those properties. We gotta be able to get the money to maintain them so you don't have these crazy unexpected expenses that come out of nowhere that potentially jeopardize your business. So first, let's talk about how to get the money you need to purchase Airbnb properties. There's actually a lot of different ways in the business space that you can get the money you need to be able to buy the properties that you need. So let's talk about the cash acquisition formula. Lenders look at three things, and we call this the three C's cash acquisition formula to determine if you should be approved for credit and financing or not. Cash flow, credit, and collateral. So if you're just getting an Airbnb business off the ground, well, you typically don't have cash flow. So that means that you can use a lot of different kind of assets that can serve as collateral to get the financing you need. A lot of business owners will tap into stocks and bonds and get 90% financing borrowing against those stocks and bonds. Now, the nice thing Thing here is you can get 5% interest rates and lower. Your personal credit doesn't matter, and you can get this as a startup business. You don't have to have any cash flow verification to get approved. The other nice thing is you can still leave the stocks and bonds in place, still earning interest like they are, and still leverage them to be able to get a working capital credit line to buy the properties you need to put in your Airbnb pool. Now, you can do the same thing with IRA or 401k as well. You can actually get as much as 100% financing borrowing against a 401k or IRA as long as it's not with an existing employer. So this is another great way to tap into personal assets and leverage those to get the money you need to be able to buy your initial Airbnb properties. Now, outside of that, you also want to look at the third C, which is credit. Again, if you don't have your Airbnb business off the ground yet, you typically don't have cash flow. So if you have good personal credit, then you can get all kinds of funding just based on that personal credit. One of my favorite programs is called Credit Line Hybrid. In the Credit Line Hybrid, you can oftentimes get 50, 100,000, even 150 thousand or more in zero percent credit lines. That's right, zero percent credit lines. So a lot of our clients will qualify, get approved for credit line hybrid, buy their first property, they rehab the property with other kind of financing I'm going to talk to you about soon. Then they'll actually get a refinance on the property, take the cash out, pay off the credit cards, and repeat the process after they're actually renting the property out. So this is a great strategy to be able to come in, be able to get credit line hybrid, get $150,000, buy your initial property, rehab have it if it needs to be rehab, put a renter in there, cash out the property through a cash out refinance, pay off the credit cards, and repeat the process. You could build an entire pool of properties just using this one product. And the nice thing is it's no doc financing. You don't have to supply any kind of financials. You can get it even as a startup business. You get 0% rates, which keeps your payments really low, especially as you're grabbing your first property and putting it in the pool. And all you need to qualify is good personal credit, typically a 680, 700 scholar score credit-wise or higher. Now, even if you don't have that, you can tap into the credit of a guarantor instead. Maybe you have a family member, a friend, a potential investor, somebody else that wants to be part of this Airbnb monumental business that you're building. Well, if that's the case, well, then they can come in. They can be the guarantor. They can help qualify for the financing you can use instead. Now, again, as your business gets off the ground, it opens up all kinds of other opportunities. With about six months worth of cash flow established in your business, you can qualify for merchant capital cash advances, cash flow financing, even credit lines that will help you get even more money to buy more property. So remember the three C's cash acquisition formula. And if you have any kind of assets that can be served as collateral, once you start establishing cash flow and tapping into good personal credit are all great ways to get the money you need to buy your actual first property and continue to buy properties to grow your empire with Airbnb.
Now, as you're growing the empire, how do you maintain these properties? Look, let's be honest. If you own a lot of properties, there's going to be a lot of expenses. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to break, such as dishwashers, washers, dryers, air conditioning units that you may have to pay for. And if you buy properties right, you might have to even do some rehab work on those properties to be able to be able to get the value up, to be able to pull even more money out through a cash out refinance, to be able to come in and continue the process of buying more properties. So how do you get the money you need to maintain these? Well, the best thing to do is to tap into revolving credit. Look, you don't want loans for this. You don't want to go out and get a loan for an air conditioning unit repair because at that point, you're under the gun to be able to get the repair done quickly and you have to start paying on a loan the minute you get it, whether you use the funds or not. So we really want to tap into revolving credit when it comes to actually getting the money we need to maintain these properties. And again, there's two ways to do that. The first we've already discussed, credit line hybrid. Using these credit lines to not only buy the property, be able to give you the money you need to maintain the property makes a lot of sense. There's also a lot of other credit lines you can qualify for for once you have six months time in business and six months worth of consistent revenue. There's also business credit. A business credit is something that a lot of Airbnb hosts are tapping into and here's why. You can get business credit without a personal guarantee and without a personal credit check. As a matter of fact, business credit is the one type of financing you can get regardless of cash flow, regardless of collateral, and regardless of credit. It's something that anybody can qualify for. It's kind of a catch-all in business because anybody can qualify for business credit. Now, the nice thing about business credit is you can start getting high limits very quickly. $10,000, $20,000 limit credit cards you can get months into the business credit building process. So you're getting credit quickly. You're getting it without a personal guarantee, without a personal credit check. So you're not liable for the credit that you're actually using. And the best part is, is 30 to 90 days into this process, you're able to tap into credit from places like Lowe's, Home Depot, Sam's Club, Costco, even Staples, Office Depot, Apple, Best Buy, a lot of different places offer this kind of credit. So the money you're going to need to buy just about anything to make maintain a property you can get using business credit. Now, the cool thing is, is when you deploy these strategies at the same time. Whether you're qualifying for collateral-based financing or credit line hybrid to start getting your initial properties while you're building business credit, this really helps you build your Airbnb empire because now you're coming in, you're acquiring properties, you're again going through this process potentially of refinancing cash out, buying more, and you're building your business credit, getting higher and higher limits, helping you maintain a bigger and bigger empire with Airbnb. Pretty cool, right? If you want to talk more about getting approved, give us a call for a free consultation. On this consultation, we'll do a fundability assessment to help you fix the things that will typically prevent you from getting approved for loans and credit. We'll also come in to help you get your business credit reports with Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian, and give you tips and tactics to start building and continue building your business credit to get high limit accounts without the personal guarantee and credit check. And we'll do a financing qualification. We'll talk to you about collateral-based programs you can qualify for right now, as well as credit line hybrid and other types of funding programs you can use to acquire properties and maintain them as well. To get that consultation, you can give us a call at 877-600-2487 or you can schedule online at creditsuite.com forward slash consult. Plus, don't forget to grab our funding guide of 27 killer ways to get money to grow your business at creditsuite.com forward slash 27 ways. Did you get value from this training? If so, make sure you like and subscribe so you get our next training about more cool ways to get money to start and grow your business.